everybody I thought I'd show you the progress of my backyard back porch um, uh, vegetable garden um, I have let's see the potatoes have gone absolutely crazy they're like four or five feet tall then I have started some lettuce down in these two pots I found burpee makes these um, circle things that you put in the top of the pot um, after you get the dirt in and uh, it has the seeds in it so I thought I'd try that and then my tomatoes I have several tomatoes this is a um, a um, early girl plant and I have one oh, probably about four tomatoes on there right now and then this is a poor a patio tomato and it has one two three four five at least five tomatoes on it so that is um, I'm very encouraged by that. Uh, I'm gonna have to look up and see why my why my early girl is turning yellow. The lower leaves are yellow. Then this is the second year that I have tried to grow onions in this pot, and it, they're they're not doing well. They're not growing. So I don't know. I'm kind of an onion failure, I guess. And then I finally repotted my rosemary. Rosemary is so expensive when you buy it in the store. You know, for like four dollars, you get this. You get about four little branches or whatever. So I thought I'd try growing that. I've never tried growing herbs before. So that's let's see what we got over here. I'm going to walk over here to the other side of the porch. The other day we were at Tractor Supply and Larry killed my one of my clematis, my little skinny clematis. He was trying to kill a dandelion and I think he sprayed it. And so this is the same clematis we bought it. I mean, I got it at um, Tractor Supply, but it's the same, um, uh, the same one. It's a pink one as opposed to the purple ones. And then this is a butterfly bush. These were those things that you, they're in a plastic bag inside of a paper sleeve. It's, uh, it's not looking too good, but I had that, I've had that happen before, and I just kept watering, and then eventually it came back. So, I'll see, um, you know, see what happens with that. This plant I've had, this was from my dad's funeral, and, um, I had it back in the bedroom and it wasn't doing very well so I decided that I would um, you know I would uh, bring it out here where you know look it could get some fresh air and I keep up with the watering and all that so anyway alrighty on to the next thing there's really not um, not uh, trash in that in this bag it's seeds I picked these up at the Dollar Tree, and I have not gotten around to planting them, so and that, that's the Miracle Girl potting mix. And then if I ever get my, my um, that's a diff another kind of lettuce, a purple lettuce, we picked, that was another tractor supply thing. And then uh, melon. I've got a raised bed that's in a box um, uh, down in the garage you know that I'm still trying to figure out what where to put but anyway I thought I'd show you guys the other thing here is a nest under there but I think it's been abandoned it from pictures I found on the internet it looks like it's a um, Carolina chickadee nest but I have not seen a mother bird in there and there's only that one little egg but I'm leaving it alone. All 
Okay, I'm back in the house now. I thought I'd show you my little um, um, America, summertime Americana type thing that I started last year. Um, I, I got the pieces, a few pieces at, um, uh, at Michael's. And then I looked um, a couple weeks ago and they had some more new pieces for this year. So I bought a few more and the little gazebo I found on eBay. Um, anyway, this dresser we bought in an antique store in Maine when we were on our wedding trip. And I use it as a hallway. That's the front door. And it's to make, a, we have an open concept house. So, um... Anyway, we have no hallway, and so the back of the love seat and this dresser kind of form our hallway. Anyway, I want to show you the little pieces. I think they're so cute. Um, the ice cream truck and the shaved ice guy and the little blue truck. And the, the man that's grilling back here are all new this year. And the, the kids with the kites. The trailer we bought last year, the little travel trailer. And the, this, I tell, I tell Larry, this is him and I. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've got some kind of a bronchitis thing going on. Um, we've both been sick this week. Uh, and the little people at the um, the picnic table and the ice cream and hamburger place were from last year. And then this uh, is a uh, fireworks they have a smaller one for this year, but I didn't order it. I don't know if I will or not. But anyway, so that's what I've got going on on my dresser this year. Oh, I thought I'd show you that the, uh, the peonies that the deer got are coming back and they're blooming. So that's a good thing. And as we're walking toward the swing, I bought these two years ago, these, these planter pots. I, li as I like things with shells. And uh, anyway, we have these store stores called Ollie's, and I bought them at Ollie's. And I put moss roses in them this year. Usually I do impatience. And they're starting to fill out and bloom. So that's a, that's a good thing. Okay, I'm going to spin around here and go down and show you. I'm going down the steps. I've been trying to slowly deadhead the irises. And uh, my, a my lilies, my Asiatic lilies, have buds all over them. So I thought I'd show you that. That's the dead, the dead clematis that I need to replace. Anyway, so they're uh, when these bloom, they should be really pretty. Now the the plants, these plants, I've got uh, four, five of them, uh, are called balloon plants, and they get a real pretty little purple flower on them. And then my abelias are blooming. Uh, they have quite a few blooms on them. And they've got these tiny little pink flowers that are so pretty. There. Okay. Um, I thought I'd show you the progress on my sweater. I've been knitting myself a sweater. I'm a big, a big uh, fan of cardigans in the wintertime. I wear one almost every day. And uh, so I'm now to the point where I can start the ribbing. So it's coming along. This, um, this uh, rib detail 
uh, that decorates it was kind of a pain in the rear. So uh, I, I was glad to get through that. Everything else should be pretty cut and dried. But anyway, that's where I'm at with that. Uh, and we'll see here. Okay, the last thing I've got here for this video is um, I got a Thrive Life order yesterday, and I thought I'd show you what I what I bought. Um, it was uh, we had a sale last month, and uh, let's see, it was I forget what they called it. Uh, anyway, um, when we have a sale, I always try to take advantage and buy some extra stuff, but. Um, outside of my normal uh, monthly delivery. So I got a can of broccoli. I always like to keep uh, keep a can, you know, at least a can of each one of the vegetables on hand. I got some kale. Not that I'm, you know, that crazy about kale, but I thought I would try. Can you believe I have never made a smoothie, okay? Um, but I thought I would try making some smoothies and they, you know, most people put kale in them. So I, you know, that's the reason I got that. Um, I got three simple plates. Um, they, uh, the sausage and veggie pizza was on a particular good sale. So I bought two of those because we really like the pizza. And I also bought a Rigatoni Rustica. Um, Rigatoni Rustica was the very first simple plate that we ever tried. And we just, it's one of our absolute favorites. So I had to have, we just ate the, you know, ate the one we had. And uh, so I had to get another one. Let's see what else we got here in this box. I got some more cherries. These are fabulous straight out of the can. So, that will go downstairs for when we need it. And um, the other thing that I got was a uh, the chicken bouillon. Um, I like powdered bouillon. Uh, I have not tried this, but it's a vegetarian chicken bouillon. So I thought I'd give that a shot. The sauces are wonderful. Any of the sauces. And then I got a can of mushrooms. Um, we use these all the time. Then I got, I got two to-go meals. Uh, these are the uh, the fruit ones, like like you could use it as a breakfast food. Um, the, uh, these are the tropical burst. So they've got trop tropical fruits, coconut, uh, granola, chia seeds, and some protein in them. <coughs> I also bought a can of cornmeal to keep on hand. I do not have any cornmeal in this house. <laughs> then the other thing I got, the express meals are supposed to be discontinued, but we love them. So I've been trying to stock up on these and they've got a shelf life for, for a couple years. So, <coughs> well, excuse me, <coughs> sorry. Uh, anyway, I bought three, I bought three fettuccine Alfredos. And I bought two of these vegetable beef stews, which are, which our, are our absolute favorite. This one and the Italian, um, I can't think of what the Italian one is called, but this, um, yeah, these are yummy. Anyway, oh, shoot, I dropped it. Anyway, so that's what I got for this uh, order on Thrive Life. They have a consultant special going on right now for the next, two, and it will end in two days, and you could become a consultant for $30, and um, that you get a small uh, sampling of uh, the food, and you get a little handful of, of um, consultant materials to look at. 
anyway, um, like I said, that ends on the 6th. So that's a that's a pretty good deal if you just you've never tried the food and you want to see what it's you know see what it's like so anyway um okay i think i'm going to end this here and i'll put all these parts and pieces to <coughs> <coughs> i'm sorry my throat is so scratchy uh, i thought we'd put all these parts and pieces together and just make one video so um, y'all have a good day.